Most credit card issuers don't publish their max credit limits. So in this video, we're going to talk five credit cards with high credit limits that you may not have known about. So if you're looking for that high limit credit card, this is a video you don't want to miss. And if nothing else, save yourself search time. Let's go. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Currency Counts where I cover all things money. So we're going to get right into this. One little thing I do want to point out is that if you know you don't have the best credit limit and you're looking for a high limit credit card, don't go applying for these just randomly because the one thing we don't want to do is waste our hard credit pools. The ultimate goal is to reach a credit score where we can be approved for a card like this. And we're not going to do that if we're wasting our hard credit pools, bringing our credit score down. So even though you don't have a 720, 750, 800 credit score, you're going to want to watch this video because when you do reach that credit score, you're going to know the cards to look out for. All right, so the first card that offers a high credit limit is a Chase Sapphire Reserve card. Not to be confused with the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. With the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you'll receive 60,000 bonus points when you spend $4,000 within three months of opening the account. So I applied for this card last year and the introductory offer was 75,000 bonus points. And I was able to exchange those bonus points or redeem those bonus points for $750 in cash. So this 60,000 bonus points amounts to $600 in cash. One of the downsides of this card is that there's there's a $550 annual fee. So my personal starting credit limit was $7,500. And every six months, you're able to apply for a credit limit increase. So right now, my credit limit's $12,500. I saw a few people on the FICO forum that had this Chase Sapphire Reserve card and had a $100,000 credit limit. I even saw one that had a $225,000 credit limit. Now, this is not usual, right? This is not the norm. You're not gonna receive a $225,000 credit limit. It's all gonna depend on your income and your credit score. But if your end game is to receive the highest credit limit possible, try this card first. Next is a Bank of America Unlimited Cash Rewards Credit Card. With this card, you'll earn 1.5% cash back on all purchases, no annual fee, and a 0% introductory offer on the first 18 months of owning this card, and also on balance transfers made within the first 60 days of opening your account. So this is a good card to have, even if you don't plan on using it, because if you have another card with a high balance, with a high PR, you can transfer it over to this card and have 18 months to pay it off with zero interest. This card also offers a considerably high credit limit versus a lot of its competitors coming in at $95,000. Next is the Capital One Venture Rewards Credit Card. Now this card is more of a travel card than an everyday purchase card, but I wanted to mention it here because it is a little bit more obtainable and some of these other cards on the list. So with the Venture Rewards credit card, you'll receive a one-time bonus of 75,000 bonus miles once you spend $4,000 on purchases within the first three months of opening your account, equaling $750. You also earn unlimited two-time miles on every purchase, receive up to $100 credit for global entry or TSA pre-check, and also earn five-time miles on hotels and car rentals booked through your Venture Rewards card. So it is a good card to consider if you travel, but what if you don't? Why even put it on this list? Well, as I mentioned, this card is a little bit more obtainable than some of the other ones I'm covering. You don't need a 720, 750, 800 credit score to be approved for this high limit credit card. You can be approved with as little as a 680 credit score. And because of that, your initial credit limit is not gonna be high. It's gonna be anywhere from five to $10,000. I did see someone on the FICO forum say they got an initial credit limit of 50 grand. I don't see that happening every day. The stars kind of have to line up to be approved for that high of a credit limit from Capital One, but it is possible. Next is a City Double Cash card where you can receive up to 2% cash back on every purchase. And like the Bank of America Unlimited Cash Rewards credit card, you can also receive 0% introductory APR for the first 18 months and a max credit limit of 50 grand. There's also other perks like 0% APR and balance transfers for the first 18 months, $200 cash back after spending $1,500 on purchases in the first six months of opening your account. Next is the First Tech Federal Credit Union Odyssey Rewards World Elite MasterCard. There's a lot of perks to this card, one of them being 30,000 bonus points when you spend three grand in the first 90 days of opening the account, another being three times reward points on travel and hotel purchases, and two time points on dining. No annual fee for the first year, and only $75 for every year after that. As low as a 9.24% APR, which is Pretty low considering today's rates. Two times reward points when you spend on dining, takeout, or delivery, and a max credit limit of up to 100 grand. On all these cards I just covered, just like every other credit card, 
the higher your credit score, the higher your potential credit limit. If you don't know if you'll be approved and don't want that hard hit to your credit score, check out Capital One. I have a link in the description where you can see if you pre-qualify without a hard impact to your credit score. And they have cards for every credit type. Bad credit, good credit, excellent credit, rebuilding, whatever it is, they have a card for it. And best part is they don't run an initial hard credit pool. So be sure and check that out. Again, I wanna thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. See you next time.